Today, we are going to be talking all about building. All right. Uh, it's going to be a short video. I uh, also wanted to talk about the systems and the things we plan to use with the building system. Um, also touch a little bit about a little bit on the AI uh, that we we're talking about incorporating and how essentially we want that to flow into the building system for you. OK, now, before we get into that, though, guys, I need you guys to understand that the fundraiser is still currently suspended. Um, like I said before, they emailed me and told me about some rewards, I guess, that were in the text. I I'm assuming it was the um, the stretch goals. Uh, so we had to delete those. I was hoping that their review or whatever they're doing in the background would have been done yesterday, um, but it's still not finished. Hence why if you guys have been looking for this page, you haven't been able to find it, um, which sucks, but you know, it is what it is, right? So bumps along the road. But outside of that, though, since you guys are aware of that, I still wanted to keep you guys updated on some things. Uh, we got some new content coming for you guys actually pretty soon. Um, I won't tell you what it is. Well, actually, I will tell you what it is. Uh, so it looks like our 3D artist has finished the render for the weapon for the original concept art. And uh, she had said that it's ready to be put in game, ready to be put in engine. So we are going to be uh, excited to show that to you guys here pretty soon. Now today, guys, like I said, I wanted to talk to you guys about the building um, just because honestly, one of the most important systems in any survival game for that matter is building and or colonization. OK, it says here that our construction system will be based on a modular blueprint system. You'll be able to place and modify your existing blueprint as well as fill in the gaps. Uh, this encourages a more cooperative gameplay flow and multiplayer and allows you to see what is being built before placing it down if you play solo. So the idea here is that we've all been in situations, especially if you're a survival game fan, shout out to my ARC fans, where you've placed a ton of items. Hell, even in early days of Conan Exiles, right? You placed a ton of items. There wasn't really a way to pick it up unless you modded and used like Structures Plus or anything like that. But if you weren't using that, you would basically have to place and replace, place and replace, place and replace, right? Um, and it can get a little bit tedious when you're having to destroy items and manage your inventory and your weight capacity while still trying to design your perfect base, right? Um, so it got to the point where people would end up going into like creative mode to try to like play with building samples and stuff so they knew the dimensions and how everything was going to work, especially if they were doing anything like honeycombing for PvP. And although that is an effective strategy, it still makes things a little tedious whether you're single player or multiplayer. So what we're looking to do is to create a modular blueprint system. So for those of you guys who have played games like Valheim or really any other game where the building is modular, where you kind of set it piece by piece and kind of create your own structure, that's what we're looking at. We're also looking at creating a blueprint system. So you're basically laying the blueprint of the structure. It'll show up in blue. I'm sure you guys have seen this in other games before. And essentially, you will craft the materials or gather the materials, and then it will just place them into the structure that you've designed. Uh, the goal, the design goal here is to have like once you finish this, it'll have like a total amount of materials needed. You, you and your friends, your homies, your family, your your loved ones. You guys will just go out, collect the materials required, pop it into the building. Bing, bang, boom. Now, we are also considering ways to kind of factor in a building skill, per se. Um, still kind of on the board. Like, are we going to make that an actual ability to where it actually affects the quality of materials, essentially craft? Um, that's still in discussion. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments how you guys would feel about a system like that, you know, especially with the proficiency that we talked about how progression actually is going to work in the game. But again, that stuff is still up to air uh, or still up in the air. And I want to kind of bring things like that in front of you as a community so you guys can let us know how you feel about a feature like that. And then we can look at implementation as we go through the development process. Now, another important aspect of our building system is community management and companions, which we will discuss obviously in a different video. Uh, you can use a community management system to hire NPCs and companions and put them to work in your settlement. Uh, you can start as a lone citizen, uh, but you can also build a house, town, city, you know, as you continue to upgrade, automating the functions you don't want to do so you can focus on what you enjoy. You guys may have experienced things like this when you guys have played Sons of the Forest, right? Or if you guys have played um, Medieval Dynasty, Wild West Dynasty, any of those games, um, the idea here is that what we don't want to do is get you stuck in a level of tedium, right? And what we mean by tedium is like, 
there's certain aspects of survival games that are fun for people, and there's certain aspects of survival games that aren't fun for people, right? So what we don't want you to do is to get stuck in the loop of feeling like you have to chop a billion trees just so you can finally get to the place that you want to get to. Does that make sense? Because in life, right, the ultimate destination for me, I think personally, is when you have full control of your time, right? And when you have control of your time, you're free to kind of enjoy life the way that you see fit, right? So we want to kind of create that environment in the game. So as you guys are going through, in the beginning, you'll have to do everything yourself, right? Which is tedious because you're just a lone wolf. You're just out there doing your thing or a lone kitten or, you know, whatever you want to be. However, over time, as you hire NPCs, you know, you increase your economy. You complete certain quests in the game or certain activities in the game and you free, res free or rescue these companions or, you know, find these companions and you recruit them to your settlement. Um, these NPCs and or companions can be assigned to take care of tasks that you don't necessarily want to do. Something as simple as, you know, building a woodcutting shack and then you assign your person to the shack and then they go and chop wood and gather wood and put it in your storage for you. Things like that. Because what we're looking at essentially, especially with the environment and looking to design an autonomous AI, so you'll see other civilizations and stuff kind of growing and expanding too, we want to create an opportunity for you as a player to come in and be able to, again, do everything in the beginning and then allocate and leverage your time so you can have your NPCs or hires or companions do the stuff you don't want to do. So if you are an adventurer, you can focus on adventuring, right? While your city is taking care of itself. Now, granted, your city will still be attacked and you'll be notified uh, via notification that you're under attack. However, um, you will choose how you'll be able to respond. You'll be able to build defenses. You'll be able to build uh, economic stations and or buildings. You'll be able to produce goods, you know, so on and so forth as you advance through. Now, obviously, as you guys hire and you pay attention to these NPCs and their companions, you're going to want to pay attention to their skills and what they contribute to your settlement to make sure that they are in the most optimum <laughs> or optimal position uh, based on their abilities. Now, granted, these companions that you'll find will level up over time as they continue to complete certain activities. So you want to pay attention to how these citizens function in your world. Now, as I said here, if you don't like building, you completely ignore the building system and buy a house. One of the towns that will establish themselves on your server instead, as long as, of course, you have enough reputation with the faction itself. Uh, but that's definitely an option. Again, our goal here is to create a game that essentially has the features that you will be able to decide how you want to enjoy the game. So if you want to focus on crafting, gathering, and you're powering up your companions to defend you, then that's a way that you can approach the game. If you want to be a dungeon dweller or an adventurer, that's a way that you can enjoy the game. If you just want to roll around with your friends and just focus on being nomadic and just focus on powering up and, you know, boss hunting, that's a way that you can experience the game. But ideally, we want players to be in a situation where they essentially feel like they can create and build their own story as well as their own neighborhoods. Just, uh, you know, a brief kind of summary of what we're going to be looking at and things that we're looking to design. Uh, we are definitely, definitely, definitely excited to hear your ideas about what you think should be featured in the building system or things that you would like to see uh, in terms of games or maybe things that when you play other survival games, things that you don't necessarily enjoy or wish were different. And if if they were different or if they were able to change, how would you change them? Let us know, let us know that in the comment box below. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. Um, about to go get my workout in for the day. We're going to do some long rucksacks today. All right. So I love you guys. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box. I'd be happy to assist. For those of you guys looking to support the campaign, I just ask that you guys be a little bit more patient. And as soon as they bring the page back up, I will make an announcement letting you guys know. So... Love you guys. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys in the next video.